Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial where we will learn how to debug a particular program into code block plus. So basically I will go through with the debugging process. Uh, but before that you know you have to write the program first. So I am not going to show you how to write a program in code block plus that you can watch our earlier video the installation of code block plus where we have discussed the installation as well as how to write programs in code block plus but in this video tutorial we'll mainly discuss about the debugging features the debugging feature in code blocks is actually works with your project so if you write individual c program which is outside your project your debugging will not be applied onto that. You cannot debug those. So to debug any uh, program, the program needs to be a part of a project. So I have created a project called Simple Interest and then Sources. Then uh, inside that, there is one file, simple underscore interest dot C, where, you know, we are calculating the simple interest. So normally, the program has been written. Okay, so this is the formula where, you know, we are calculating the simple interest so principal amount is i am taking and as an input from the user also the rate of interest and the number of years okay and then i am calculating the simple interest by this formula which is nothing but your principal amount multiplied by number of years multiplied by rate divided by 100 and then after that i am printing this particular value in simple interest okay so let's see how the debugging is working for this one. So to start a debug, before you know you start a debug, first you build your program. So you see that there is no errors, nothing has been, you know, not, no error or no warning is reported. So your program is good to run, right? So now you can also run this thing. Let's run this thing and then we'll debug after that. So, you know, enter the principal amount, let's say 10,000. Interest rate, let's say 15% and number of years, let's say 5. So this is the output that your interest amount is 7500. Okay. So, so this is the way the program executes. Now, I, if I press any key to, you know, it will exit the execution. So now I'll show you how to debug it. So first, before you know debug something, you have to put a particular breakpoint to a particular statement from where you want to start debug. You can start the big breakpoint at the beginning, or you can start the breakpoint at some point of time, at some instruction where you have some doubt that whether your program is you know working fine or not. So let's give because you know we know these things are working fine. So let's give a breakpoint. Over here, so you can give the breakpoint either right clicking into the, this and then add breakpoint, or you can dismiss the breakpoint by clicking into it, or simply if it is if there is no breakpoint, you can simply click the left click over here and then the breakpoint will be added. So breakpoint is applied on the line number seventeen, which is this particular line. Okay, so now once the breakpoint is applied. You can go to your debug and then start continue or you can click on this particular button. Okay, so I'm clicking on this. I'm continuing the debug now. So once the debug is continued, you know, there will be a watch window, you know, so which comes from here, the watches. Okay, so normally these are the watch window where, you know, your uh, variable values will be there. So I'm just entering one by one. Okay, so. I'm running this and then entering one by one. So entering, enter the principal amount, let's say 10,000. Interest rate is 15% and number of year is 5. If I press enter now, what will happen? You see, your watch window got populated and your execution stop here. You see the arrow mark here, the yellow arrow mark. So that means your execution is stopped over here. So now in the watch window, you can see the your values in the variable. Right? So breakpoint means when the program is actually executing, the at the breakpoint, the program will stop temporarily for your debugging purpose. Okay. 
So now you see, we I have given number of years as five. You know, principal amount as ten thousand. Rate is fifteen. Now simple interest, it is not calculated yet. So that is why it is showing you on garbage value. Okay. So now what you have to do is either you can go to now you can click over here and then run to cursor or you can go to the next line. So I click on the next line. So there are other options that you can step into or you can step out. These are normally used when you have used functions or some if blocks, for loops, something like that. So it will step into that particular block and then it will step out from that block. Okay. So it is basically the next instruction and this is basically, you know, step into instruction. So I'll go into the next line. Okay. So click on the next line. What will happen? See, now your yellow mark, yellow arrow is pointing over here. Okay. So that means your simple interest is calculated. That you can see from here. Your simple interest is 7500 is the value of the simple underscore INT, that particular variable. So now what happens to the output? Nothing happens yet. Right. Because this printf is not executed now. So now I'll execute this one by clicking on into the next line. So now your printf is executed and your statement is waiting into return zero. So what happens over here? You see the output that your the interest amount is 7500 which comes from this printf. And then you click onto the next line. So basically your program ends. Okay. And if you click onto the next line, so that means your program ends. See, so now all the values of that particular variables have gone. Okay. So that is, this is the end of your program. Now to end the debugging, what you have to do, either you clock stop debugger or from the debug menu, you can click this one, stop debugger. Okay. So I'm stopping the debugger. So that is how you basically debug. So once you debug this thing, if you find any errors or if you find anything, uh, any, any, you need to do some bug fix or something, you do that and then remove the breakpoint. So either you can, you know, right click on that or remove breakpoint. Or you can click on that particular red button. It will be gone. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Hope this will help you to debug your C or C++ program. Thank you.